Uh, welcome back. I have a quick video. This one's going to be real quick because I've already written a blog post and a bunch the bulk of the content is in the blog post. The video is just kind of to support it. So what do we have going? So what we have is this, we're working with Ion Nav and the problem that we're trying to solve is how do I do navigation inside of a modal when a modal pops up? Um, I've seen a bunch of people ask this question. They've mentioned that they could not find a solution on how to do it in Vue. Um, I saw someone from the Ionic team posted just kind of a snippet up there and, and indicated that, yeah, the documentation needs to be updated. But um, I thought it was an interesting problem. Those guys do a bunch of stuff. So I figured, let me see if I can throw a solution out there that uh, folks could potentially build on. So what we have here is I started with just the basic um, blank template from Ionic View. I gutted it out. Uh, this is the home view he here that comes by default. And um, we'll, we'll run the demo first. So what we have is we have a button. The button opens the modal. So here's the modal. Um, and then what we can do here, uh, basically we can still close the modal, but when we open the modal, we show you how you can kind of navigate to a another page inside of the modal. And you got the back button behavior. Let me switch this to um, run make it think it's running on device so we can get the appropriate animations and everything that you would get. All right, so let's try again here. So now you can see when you open the modal, then you get the modal slide up. Um, we can go back. We can close out. So you get this whole separate navigation stack that is separate from the overall application, but is specific to um, the modal dialog. And that's the behavior that we're trying to get going. Um, I think, let me see, do I still have it running? Let's see if I can get this guy running here on device. Um, so here you get the modal slide in, you get the show modal detail. So you can see it's doing the iPhone kind of navigation sliding. We get the back and then we can close the modal. So this is what we're trying to accomplish and we're trying to do it in Vue.js. And so that's what I've done here. So. Um, let's hop to the code. But before we get to hop to the code, if you like this video, please make sure you like it, click the like button, and also please make sure you subscribe. I focus specifically on Ionic Framework with React.js and Vue.js. Um, okay, so like I said, we're just gonna quickly go through this because most of the documentation exists in uh, the blog post, which is uh, linked with the video. So what we have is on our homepage here, we have our normal um, Ionic content. We have a button that we're gonna use to open the modal. Um, and then here we have embedded is our modal. Um, clicking on the um, open, we'll, we'll change this value, this open ref from um, true to false. When it is set to true, it will render our modal content. And what I've done is I defined this object called base modal. It has a root page, which is kind of when the modal launches, what's the primary page that will be embedded in there. And um, right now, I have this other component called modal home, which um, we'll show you in a second. A couple of things to note here. Um, when you import, so you need to import um, modal home, uh, not from Ionic View. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, right here. So we need to make sure that we import both of the components that we need, the base modal which is this component, and then also the component that the base modal will kind of render initially. And so that's uh, the modal home. The thing to notice here is that um, in your components, you just put the base modal, and then what happens here is you pass the modal home from returning from the um, setup function so that you get access to the component here inside the template to pass it as a parameter. And make sure you bind it like that with the colon. All right, so now let's jump over to our base modal. So inside of our base modal, it's pretty straightforward. All we have here is we're using the Ionic Nav component. This comes from, from uh, the Ionic team. This is kind of how we're managing a separate navigation stack. We pass in what the root page is, the root page is the um, modal home component that got passed in as this property that was defined here. And then I'm setting an ID so I can get access to this element so I can call functions on Ionic Nav. Now, I could have done this with the ref. Um, I also kind of investigated doing this whole kind of provide inject where I would provide the, so where I would find this reference to this component, I would um, stick it inside of the overall context and then you could kind of inject it into different components. 
um, whenever you needed it. So inside a modal home and inside a modal detail, when you needed it, you could just kind of inject um, the nav component to get it. Uh, I decided to pass on that because I wanted to keep this demo simple enough. Um, if people are interested, I could d dive deeper into it. Um, but for now, I'm just doing a normal um, query document to find this element when I need it. Okay, so now we have everything set up. Um, and so this, where we are now, the base modal, um, I've passed in my modal home component and it should be rendering it on the page. So now let's move over to the modal home. So now inside a modal home, I like to collapse this. Let's collapse this. Let's start at the template. Um, so let's let's go to modal home here. So if when I click and I go to modal home, we have our close button over here on the side. Um, we have our title. And then inside of here, we just have a button click, which will take us to the um, next page, which should be a detailed page. We want to push it onto the stack. Um, so now let's come down inside a code and see what we're doing. So I need to get the navigation element from the page. And so what I'm doing here is when this modal home component is mounted, I am doing a uh, query to get the element by ID, which is modal nav, which then gives me the uh, nav element and I'm saving it here inside of this uh, reference, right? And then the reason why I need to save it is that when I push to the next page, I need this, I need this element. I need the ion nav element. So what you're seeing here is to go to the next page, you get the ion nav element. I need to say value since it's a reference, I call the push function and I pass it the component that I wanna push. And then also you can pass an object, which are parameters. The, as I say here, these show up as properties on the child component or on this page. So what you'll see when we go to a modal home detail view, you'll see that it has a property called modal nav. Um, to close the overall modal, we import the modal controller from Ionic View and we call dismiss on it. So if we come back up here to my um, Ionic View, you can see I had to import modal controller and then it has this like top level function that I can just call dismiss and it'll dismiss the, it'll dismiss the modal all automatically. And then of course, at the end of setup, I need to pass the function, the two functions to the template so they can have access to it. And then now the last part is to take a look at my modal, modal home detail view. And so that's this guy. Um, nothing magical happened with the components, but here's the property that got passed. Um, I had, I defined it here in modal nav. Um, then inside of my setup, I can get the value. So I get my modal nav and then to go back, I just call pop on it and it pops it and it sends it back. Um, if I look up at my template, there's nothing magical here. It's just a regular ion page. It's got a function called go back when you click it. As I said, I call, um, my my um, ion nav that I got passed in as a property with the value and I call pop on it and it sends me back home. Um, so this is a pretty basic example, but it, I think it has all the components that you need to kind of get started with whatever you want to do with this. Um, like I said, I want to keep this short. Um, there is a link that will be included with the video to a longer blog post. Let me see if I can show you that guy. Yeah, here we go. So we have this blog post here. Um, I kind of add a little bit more verbiage around it, but it's kind of pretty straightforward on uh, what we're doing. I kind of break it down in sections that explain it a little bit more. Tried to add some comments in my code so that it's uh, clear what's going on, but you know, check this out also. And as usual, make sure you leave a comment. If you have any questions, I try to be as responsive as I can to content that I post out there. You know, once again, um, if you find this content valuable, please make sure you like it, subscribe, and uh, take care. Bye now.